Digitizing physical invoices can be a daunting task, but not anymore. Introducing our new savior, Google Gemini Vision Pro model. In this video, I'll show you how you can quickly use Google's Gemini Vision Pro model and how you can extract insights directly from your images. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. Before I start, here are the two invoices that I want to digitize. The first invoice is that of Amazon.in. I kind of purchased a webcam. So this is one invoice that I have. This is the second invoice. If you look closely, the amount and the description are basically written by hand and it's not printed. So we'll also test out how the solution performs on handwritten text. So in this particular exercise, I'm using Google Collab. And I've already instantiated an instance on Google Collab where it's a CPU version. I don't require a GPU currently. So I have a CPU instance up and running. I've already uploaded both the invoice files that I have, which is invoice1.jpeg and invoice2.jpeg. So this is something that I wanted to share across before moving forward. The other thing that I also want to specify is in order to use the Gemini Vision Pro model, you will require an API key, which you can easily find in the Google Maker Suite solution or Google Maker Suite is now called as Google AI Studio, which is something that I've already covered in my previous video. So I'll attach the link to the previous video in the description section. Now that I've laid out all the background work, let's quickly jump to the implementation section. So I'll quickly unhide the cell. The first thing that I require is I have to install Google Generative AI, which is where the pip command would come into picture. The only thing to keep in mind is I require the version that is the latest version, which is 0.3.1. There might be versions that would come after this as well. But if you use a version which is say 0.2 something, you might get errors, which is where you have to be very specific in terms of which version you are using. So we require at least 0.3.1. So I'll quickly run this particular cell. So the installation is up and running. Now I'll quickly go forward to the import section. I'll import google.generativeai as genai. I'll require the path function from the pathlib library, which is what I'll import as well. So these are the two things that I require. So I'll quickly run the cell. Before moving forward, I want to validate the version of the genai tool that I have. So I'll quickly say genai.version. So I have the right version with me as well. So be very careful with this particular step. There's no support for Gemini Vision Pro model in the previous versions. So you have to have this particular version or the future versions. Since I'm using Google Collab, the good part is I don't have to show you the secret key, which is where I have the secret key in the secret key section. And from google.collab, I import user data and I configure the API key using the genai.configure command and I pass in the API key using the user data dot get function. Okay. So here is where you basically pass in your API key. So I'll quickly run the cell. Now there are some list of default configurations. I've kept them as it is. You can modify it based on your use case. I've kept the temperature as it is top P top K max output tokens. All of this is something that I've kept a constant. The other settings are basically the safety settings, which again, I've not touched at all. Whatever was given by default in terms of the default version that's available on Google AI studio, I've basically used that. So I'll quickly run the cell to import these two variables in memory. So from now onwards, you will kind of start seeing bits and pieces of the magic unveil. So I'll quickly unhide this particular cell. So here is where I create an instance of the model. I call the genai.generative model. I pass in the model name that I require right now. So in our case, it's Gemini Provision. Then I pass in the safety settings as well as the configuration dictionary that we just went through, right? So I'll quickly run this cell and create an instance of the model. Now I've created two helper functions to kind of help us generate responses. The first helper function that I've created is input underscore image underscore setup. So the model expects the image to be in a certain format. 
in the prompt itself, which is where you have to tweak the input image upload, which is what I've done using this particular function. So this function firstly accepts the file location. If the file location is valid, that means there is a valid file in that particular location. It will not raise an error. Otherwise, if it doesn't find any file, it will basically raise an error. If the file is present and valid, what I'm going forward and doing is I'm creating a list called as image underscore parts. And here inside this list, I'm supplying a dictionary. In the dictionary, you can have multiple images that you can club together as an image prompt. But in this particular example, I'm using just one particular input image. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I have a key value pair. The first is mime underscore type, wherein I specify that the input that I kind of upload here will be an image. And the second piece is data where I actually supply the exact path of where my image exists. So this is what I have in this particular list. And finally, if everything goes through, I'll basically return this particular list that I have. Okay. So I'll quickly run this cell, import this particular function into memory. Now I go to the response function, which is where what you have to do is you have to collect all the inputs that you get and create a super prompt. Okay. Once you create the super prompt, pass that to the Gemini vision pro model and you will get a response. Okay. So there are three parts of the prompt. The first part is the input prompt. The second part is your image prompt. You can generate the entire image prompt by firstly passing the image location, which is what I'm taking in as an input. And then you have the question prompt. So what is the question that you want to ask to your invoices is where the question prompt comes in. Okay. So the first piece is from the image location, generate the image prompt, then Combine all the prompts together to create a new list called as prompt underscore parts, which basically has the input prompt, the image prompt. And here, given that I'm passing only one image, I only want the first dictionary, which is why you see that subscript of zero. And then you have the question prompt. Finally, you have this entire input list, which you pass to the model and you call the generate underscore content function from the model and you get a response from the response. I return the text that's available. Okay. So it's a very simple function that I've created, but now all thanks to Google's Gemini vision pro model, you can see magic happen in front of you. Okay. Now we'll go to the execution piece of things here. The first thing that I do is I define the input prompt. So here I say you are an expert in understanding invoices. You will receive input images as invoices. And you will have the task to understand the input image and give a response based on whatever you understand. Now I have two images. We'll go over both the images one by one. So I have invoice underscore one and invoice underscore two. So just to be sure of the name, I'm basically copying the name as well. So I say, this is my first file location. Now let's ask some questions to the invoice. What is the total amount in the invoice? So I have the question prompt ready as well. Now I'll generate the response. Let's now wait for magic to unfold. So here is the output. The total amount is 3009 INR, which is the standard currency in India. And this is the response that I'm getting rather than the total amount. I want to understand what is the product that I've bought in this particular invoice. So let me change the prompt a bit. So now the question is, what is the product in this particular invoice? So I'll quickly run this and I'll again generate the response. So this is the response that I'm getting. I am truly mesmerized with the accuracy of the text that is generated. Again, keep in mind, this is not an image which is consisting of say actual text. This is basically an image that is going through an OCR engine behind Google's backend data. And it's able to firstly understand the question that I'm asking. It's able to extract the response that I am expecting. So I am truly, I'm truly mesmerized by the response that I'm looking at. Mm, let me ask some more questions. What is the date of the invoice? Let's see if it's able to pick that up or not. Yes, I basically purchased this particular product around three years back and it's kind of showing this particular result as well. So truly fascinating is what I can say. And now I'll show you some higher level magic, 
where this particular invoice had printed text. We'll go to the other invoice which had say handwritten text. Let's see if Gemini Vision Pro can detect handwritten text as well. So let's move forward. What I'll do is I'll change the image location. So I'll say invoice2.jpg. Now when I change the prompt, if you remember the overall amount was written by hand. So I'll say what is the total amount in the invoice. So I set the question prompt accordingly and now let's wait for the response to come in. The total amount is 150. The reason why this response amazes me more than the previous responses is the previous responses were of text that was printed. This particular response is of that that is handwritten. So Gemini Vision Pro model can also understand handwritten text provided it's like visible and clear. This is truly amazing. Like you have like a solution where you can literally create a small service and sell it to external companies for digitizing their invoices. This is how you can smartly use Google's AI services and create solutions. This is one of the examples that I thought of sharing with all of you. I hope you found this informative and I hope you start using Google Vision Pro in your day to day activities. Thank you so much for watching the video. Before I end, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos that I create on generative AI, data science, machine learning and deep learning. Thank you so much for watching the video.